the current phase of astronomy has witnessed the discovery of new exoplanets. But with each new discovery, we are being introduced to a wide range of strange features that we don't get to see on a regular basis. The most recent of these weird characteristics was found on Gliesar 436b, a world of scorching hot ice shrouded in a steamy atmosphere. In today's video, we'll be taking a closer look at this mythical celestial object and how things work on it. In recent times, scientists have unearthed a large number of extrasolar planets, otherwise known as exoplanets. Currently, there are over 5,000 officially recognized exoplanets in our universe, each with its own specifications and characteristics. But perhaps the most bizarre of them all is Gliesar 436b. Located some 33 light years away from our blue planet, Gliesar 436b is a mysterious exoplanet that defies human logic and even physics itself. The Neptune-sized planet was first discovered by scientists using the radial velocity method back in 2004. And upon its discovery, scientists realized it was orbiting really close to an old sun called GJ436. Due to this close proximity between this odd planet and its parent star, its surface temperature is quite outrageous. At peak levels, the temperature on Gliesar 436b could exceed 989 degrees Fahrenheit, which is equivalent to over 532 degrees Celsius. Ordinarily, this temperature should be too hot for any form of water to exist on a planet. Also, scientists discovered that the atmosphere of this strange world produces large streams of carbon monoxide, a phenomenon that shouldn't occur without the presence of water. But ironically, that's not the case. In fact, rather than being an arid planet, scientists were shocked to find that the surface is composed of ice, which is a crystalline formula of water, or H2O as science scholars call it. This is quite amusing because here on Earth, it is impossible for ice to exist in such an unfathomable temperature. Naturally, ice tends to melt at 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. So how come it doesn't melt on Gliesar 436b? And does this even conform with the fundamental laws of physics and chemistry that regulate our universe and the elements within it? Well, it may not sound like it, but the existence of hot ice on Gliesar 436b does not defy the natural laws of our universe. Of course, it's a rare discovery and it's okay to marvel at it. However, it is not something that cannot be explained without the scope of science. Apparently, at high pressure in the exoplanet's interior, it compresses water so much that it is able to stay solid even at extreme temperatures. Also, you probably wouldn't know this, but science tells us that there's more than one type of ice. And yes, it is made from the same type of water we use every day on Earth. As a matter of fact, scientists have so far discovered 17 phases of ice, with each one having special characteristics to differentiate it from the others. The type present on Gliesar 436b is believed to be high-pressure ice, known as X10 and XVI16. Other forms of ice, like Ice VII or Ice 7 and Ice X or Ice 10, can reportedly exist on the planet as well. Explaining this phenomenon, Frederick Pont, a renowned physicist at the University of Geneva, Switzerland, said, Under very high pressure, water turns into other solid states denser than both ice and liquid water, just as carbon transforms into diamond under extreme pressures. Ironically, Pont also claims that Gliesar 436b most likely has a similar composition to Neptune, which is also made up of ice. Planets with such characteristics are often described as ocean worlds. However, we cannot outrightly consider Neptune an ocean world because of the distance between the gas giant and the Sun. As for Gliesar 436b, Pont believes it would have been impossible for water to condense to form the exoplanet close to its parent star in the way that it did. So he postulates that the planet would have initially been formed farther out before migrating inwards. In another interesting twist, scientists recently found out that even our natural water, which is one of the most fundamental forces behind life, has some anomalies that stem from its basic structure. 
Naturally, when water molecules bond, they do so with the aid of a hydrogen molecule. And because this bond is extremely strong, one would need to heat the water to high temperatures to dissolve them. However, the stretchy nature of these bonds means that the distance between the hydrogen and oxygen molecules gets smaller once the temperature rises. On the other hand, the distance between these molecules becomes wider when the pressure increases. Professor Martin Chaplin of the London South Bank University believes this phenomenon is a consequence of the hydrogen bonding and the relatively low density and low pressures, which ultimately allow the creation of more dense structures to be possible. Interestingly, this bond also determines the crystal structure of the normal ice that is found in freezes and on snowflakes. But once in the atmosphere, it forms a uniform open lattice of hexagonal crystals. However, in the case of Gliesar 436b, the ice crunches down when the exoplanet is experiencing super high pressure. This causes its molecules to stretch and compact, forming new shapes that are different from its original crystalline structure. For instance, if ice X were present on this extremely hot planetary body, it would maintain its solidity by continuously compressing into a neat wire fence shaped lattice. This is because Ice X will require a much higher temperature to melt on Gliesar 436b than it would need in Earth's lighter atmosphere. But away from the composition of the ice on Gliesar 436b, scientists have been keen to find out more about the exoplanet itself. A scientific team headed by Michael Gillen of Geneva University has been observing the planet with a telescope at the Observatoire Francisco Xavier Bagnald OFXB as it orbits its host star. And from their observations, they've been able to determine some of the planet's features, including its diameter, which is believed to be around 50,000 kilometres wide. That's equivalent to the size of Neptune, or about four times the width of Earth. These timely observations also helped us learn about the composition and structure of Gliesar 436b. They were the first to reveal that the planet is too compact to consist mainly of hydrogen gas like Jupiter. It is, however, not compact enough to be considered a rocky planet like our Earth, as some scientists have predicted. Instead, it turned out that the planet is made up of exotic water. The Gliesar 436b is considered a rare discovery, but the fact that it was found in the first place suggests that there could be more of these planets out there. Speaking about the possibility of discovering planetary bodies with similar features to Gliesar 436b, Professor Frederick Pont said, to me, it proves that there are many planets with liquid water, because if there's one like this, it could have been a bit further from the star and then the temperature would have been right. In addition, Sarah Seeger, an exoplanet expert at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, says the discovery of this hot ice exoplanet is tremendously exciting because it is the first time anyone has been able to detect a transit of a planet smaller than a gas giant. It's heralding a new era in exoplanets, she told popular online magazine New Scientist. It's opening a door to identifying habitable planets in the near future. However, she was quick to highlight that uncertainties around the composition and structure of the exoplanet. There's no doubt that it is mostly made of ice, but it's hard to tell what its other components could be. And despite the abundance of water ice on the planet, scientists believe it would be hostile to life considering its crazy atmospheric temperature. In fact, we are not even certain if the conditions on the exoplanet are conductive enough to support liquid water. At best, there could be a region on the planet where water exists in a quasi-liquid state. But critically, it doesn't necessarily mean that the planet would support complex life like our Earth does. Earth does.